be the same around here with Hatch, Mr. Larson. But what will you do? I don't know, little Joe. Can't go back to trapping beaver. I'll just send Frenchie the rent money. Maybe join up as a scout on the next wagon train. What's this, Daniel? Look, it's Jack Wolf himself. Hey, everyone, it's Jack Wolf. Who's that, Paul? He's one of the first to come out west. Trailblazer. Indian killer. He's protecting the settlers. The president even gave him a medal. So folks, looks like you got yourself a real going concern here. What do you want to go and sell it for? Rent. Ain't mine to sell. Now, what I mean to say is, what's wrong with it? Nothing. Just ain't no storekeeper. Numbers and such ain't my strong suit. I could help you out with that, Mr. Larson. Oh, thanks, Adam, but... You know, looking after Frenchie was one thing. John with customers and trying to do horse trading the way he used to. Fact is, it ain't any fun anymore. I'll take it. You want this place? I do indeed. But you're Jack Wolf. I am. You, sir. Folks call me Big Dan. I can see why. Ben Cartwright. I do. He's my sons, Little Joe, Hoss, Adam. Fellas? Excuse me, Mr. Wolf. I'm a Jack. Jack, I'm curious, what do you what do you want with the livery business? Well, I've been all over the West. I've done everything there was to do. Now's the time to settle and build the future. This town's just right for what I need. A little planning, some business sense. We can grow into a real city. Month's rent? Heck! We'll cover six months' rent. Fine. Gentlemen, will you join me? Let's go. Boys, we got work to do. Another time. I'll take you up on your offer. Daniel! I hear you killed 500 buffalo in one day. Well, that's true, but I can't tell a lie. It wasn't on horseback. It was on a traveling train. Thursday.
Mm. Morning. You an eater or a drinker? Never eat before noon. We need a room, the finest. Well, there's only one room up there, so I guess it's the finest. But it's mine. No, uh, make it worth your while sleep somewhere else. Why do you want to go pay me good money for my room when you got Frenchie's palace? Palace? Better than mine, or anything down at the boarding house. Where's the nearest hotel? Sacramento. Well, <clears throat> at least can you tell me where a fella can get a little comfort around here? Now, let's see. We ain't talking rooms, and we ain't talking liquor. We talking companionship. Well, you're talking to the wrong person. Because I don't abide women being bought and sold. You're going to have to ride your sorry behind over to Hangtown for that kind of companionship. I said it was on the house. It's not for the whiskey. Squared away for you. Listen, Dan. Will you stay on a while? Just till I can get somebody to replace you. Oh, just till then. Fine, here. Go on. Tell me. How do things run in Eagle Station? What do you mean? Uh, you, you got a mayor? No. Oh. Got a town council. Who's on the council? Uh, Shelby Sterrett. Sloom. Eli Orwitz. What's trading post? Uh, Margaret Green. She owns a big spread just south of town here. She? Alone? And her husband died after fighting the Mexicans. She's back east now, on account of Ma dying. Daughter Tess is taking care of things while she's gone. You know, the ranch, council business. So just three members? Yeah, no, there's uh, Ben Cartwright, too. Well, the fella here yesterday with his boys. So just the four? Yeah, since Frenchie went back to New Orleans. So there's an open spot on this council. Yeah. I guess so. 